So we must do two things, two great things together to encompass that enormous new view that lies before us, but to encompass it within the framework of science, to see it within the whole categorical framework of science, and to see that these two are not separate, but that they are wedded. The bigness of the idea, the newness of the idea, the greatness of it is one with the structure of science, the structure of being itself. What we are looking at as the word matrix or the Dorley matrix is the, uh, is the great implication within the model of being in respect uh, specifically to the level of Christian science, namely to be able to see and to understand how the 7,000 year period consciousness through its own language understands itself as Christian science, understands its own divinity as what we call the level of Christian science. Mrs. Eddy says in the textbook on page 480, the Bible declares all things were made by him, the divine word. And without him was not anything made that was made. It's from St. John's prologue to the Gospel of John. And what does she say further? She says, this is the eternal verity of divine science. On page 503 of the textbook, she says, divine science, the word of God. Seth, to the darkness upon the face of error, God is all in all, and the light of ever-present, what? Love illumines the universe. So we look at the light of ever-present love. When we look at the language of the 7,000-year period, we see how Love illumines the universe, what that universe is from love's standpoint, and it is always the capitalized terms. As we look at um, uh, the levels of absolute Christian science and Christian science, of course, we look at the whole creation of the creator, so to speak, the whole ideational idea of the one infinite divine principle. But I love to uh, think of what um, Paul Davies says when he says that the creator now is seen to be the principle of self-organization. So that everything that we see within the model of being is the, is the activity, the operation, of one great self-organizing principle, which is divine. It's a divine principle. So that on the level of divine science, we get the setting forth of that self-organizing principle as life, truth, love, divine principle, love, as that divine input, divine process, divine output, divine feedback as the word, Christ, Christianity, and science from the level of divine science. And then we see, as uh, Mrs. Eddy says, that uh, um, in divine science, God is one, that that's one, that's one self-organizing principle. And all, capital A, all, so that's all there is, is what we see in divine science is that infinite all and governing himself. You see governing itself. That principle is self-governing. That self-organizing principle is self-governing. And governing itself, it governs the universe. He governs the universe. 
so that with within the self organization and the self government of divine science itself is um, uh, is the whole activity of what we see as the as the further levels of the positive feedback operation and the negative feedback operations of absolute Christian science and Christian science. And so the 7,000 year period is leading us into the conscious awareness of the positivity of the negative feedback circuit, of the absolutely positive aspect, reality of that negative feedback circuit that um, uh, it's just lifting the whole sense within us of duality that we could ever have to deal with any phenomenon that is of the nature of, uh, of duality, of evil, of something that is not good, that is not of the quality of God, that all belongs to God, that it is one universe governing himself, he governs the universe. So uh, it's so uh, helpful, I think, to, to impersonalize that sense of, of he or God or any uh, nebulous sense that we may have about, about uh, the term principle and to, um, yes, to really uh, take ourselves out of that old religious concept of a creator and a creation, that if we talk about creator and creation, that actually uh, as we lift that terminology within consciousness, we see that we are talking about a principle that organizes itself, that is what it is and can organize and reorganize itself to bring out its own infinitude of individuality of abundance and that's the creation that's what we call creation we call that creator and creation but it's the one self-organizing principle in in infinite self-expression as we look at the word matrix or the doorly matrix we will see that the four verticals there actually present one great deductive argument. Where did we speak of that uh, argument? Really in the definition of the logos, that the logos has to do with discourse, with speaking, with argument. And I said that argument is not uh, two individuals who are battling over a a proposition, but it is a pure proposition, a pure deductive statement in logic, a pure logical statement. Divine science uh, is that which is now patterning with its calculus the whole of the Dorley or word matrix, and you perhaps have remember that I have spoken about divine science as one great deductive argument. A deductive argument is a is a closed system. It begins with the conclusion that it will draw, or Within its first or major premise, included therein will be the conclusion that is drawn. So you have in, a, in this deductive argument a major premise, a minor premise, and a conclusion. Uh, the major premise is always presented at the point of the word. The minor premise at the point of the Christ, minor being the secondary or the more individualized from the first, and the conclusion being the third 
aspect of the statement. So we will see that that great deductive argument that being has of itself always to reason from itself, through itself, to its own conclusion as itself, is patterning everything at the further levels, and so is patterning the whole of the Dorley or word matrix. In a sense, then, we will see that the word vertical in that matrix is a major premise that is the general, always presenting the general, and that the Christ vertical comes in stating the more specific, what the specific is, and then Christianity will come in and will show us the whole field of all the possible specifics of the general. It is again one divine self-deduction or a divine self-logic. You see that the self-logic comes out of the logos or the calculus. When we ask what science is, it is as though science were to say, I am the whole argument as one. I am the whole deductive argument as one. The self demonstration of the divine principle love. So science uh, shows us that that argument is the way principle demonstrates itself. And if you are familiar with logic and with a, uh, with a deductive argument, you know that they speak of it as being uh, self-demonstrating, that it demonstrates itself. So in that matrix, we see through those verticals now that God or that self-organizing principle, the self-organizing divine principle, declares the self-organizing divine principle. Declares itself as what it is now as that one principle on the level of Christian science. In the Christ, God, that one principle is translating God, that one principle. Principle translating principle. We never drop from the, from the wholeness, from the allness of the infinite. And in Christianity, God reflects God, or God reflexes God reflects, you know, that term reflects to turn back on itself, to reflex, and thus bring out all the reflection. You see the reflection of God, the reflection of the principle, the principle having reflexed on itself, turned back on itself in its infinitude to bring out the infinite reflection of the principle. And in science, then it is God interpreting God. Principle interpreting principle. From principle, through principle, as principle, for principle, it somehow is, is uh, reflected in what we will look at uh, at that uh, point in the science vertical. So it's one great interpretation, a self-interpretation of the principle. How do I now gather up the whole of the word vertical, the Christ vertical, the Christianity vertical, and um, interpret that to myself, that if the divine principle is speaking to itself or speaking to itself, translating itself to itself, reflecting itself to itself, interpreting itself to itself. It will always speak in its own language, in the language of the capitalized terms. So the whole of that matrix is in the capitalized terms for God. 
it's a, a, the whole field of the I am. So that principle would look at itself and say, I, yes, I am the self-declaration of myself. I am declaring myself. I am translating myself. I am reflecting myself. I am interpreting myself. It is the I am interpreting itself. It is the I am reflecting itself. It is the I am translating itself. And it is the I am declaring itself. That's what that matrix is. <laughs>